Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome back to Laravel Library Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in this tutorial, what we do is that in the explore page, we are going to show all the book from the database table and in that page, we we'll let the user search the book or also see the book by categories. So for it, let's go back to our code and we we'll just directly go to our header.plate.php which is in the home folder. We'll go to our hidden.blade.php and here you can see explore is written over here and in this href we're going to give to second bracket then we say here url to first bracket to single quotation and in this single quotation let's just say over here explore you can give any name but let's just go with explore then let's go to our web.php and let me just copy this route Control c and Control P. So over here in the URL, we are going to say explore. We'll use the home controller and the function name will be explore as well. So we say over here explore. So let's go to our home controller and create this function. So we'll go to our home controller and here we are going to say public function explore to first bracket then to second bracket like this and from here we are going to return a view so we say here return return view and it will be in the home folder home dot uh, let's say explore let's save it and let's go and create a explore.blade.php in the home folder so let me just right click on it then click new file and we are going to show it here explore.blade.php control s then save so let's just say over here simple HTML and in this body we're going to say let's say explore. So right now if someone click on the uh, explore option it will call this URL and this URL will call this uh, home controller explore function and our home controller explore function will return us this view which is this one. So right now let's save it and let's go back. Let me refresh then if we click on this explore option there you can see explore this written over here there you can see so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to first add a design over here so for it let's go back to our code and we'll go to our home folder then index.blade.php let me copy everything from here Control a Control c and i'm going to paste it over here in this explore.blade.php and after that i am going to remove the uh, main banner category and the book from here so let's save it and let me just refresh over here and there you can see of the header section and footer is behind it we'll fix that later but first of all let's go and have a section over here so that we can show the book data from the database table so let's go back and we'll this time go to our home then book.blade.php over here and i'm going to copy everything from this book.blade.php so control a control c and here in the book.blade.php we are getting data using dollar data as dollar data and using dollar data we are showing the book title author name and everything so we'll just uh, paste it over here in the explore.blade.php so we we'll paste it here then save it so right now if we just refresh our browser we we'll get an error for the dollar data let me just show you if we now refresh there you can see undefined variable dollar data so right now uh, what we'll do is that we'll just keep it the way it is and what we'll do is that we'll just go to the home controller.php and here we need to declare the same variable we have over here dollar data so this will make our work easier we don't have to modify our code over here in the explore.date.php so here we are going to say dollar data equal to we are going to mention the book model name which is book double clock we'll get all the book then we'll send this dollar data to this view so we'll say over here comma compact to first bracket single quotation data so basically what we are doing is that we are getting all the book data storing it in this dollar data variable and sending this dollar data to this page explore 
and in the explore we are already mentioning the for each loop dollar data is dollar data and using the dollar data we are showing the book image book title uh author name everything so right now if we now save then if we now refresh there you can see where i want to see all the book over here so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial what we'll do is that we'll have a search option over here so that user can search a specific book using the search option so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials